That said, does it prevent cheating? Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you about, um, maybe I should get the tripod. Dad, you know where the tripod is? Maybe. That might help or else you're gonna get annoyed at how much I'm shaking. All right, everyone, I have finished one class on Portage. I have one final to go and then I'll be finished with a second class on Portage. And I just enrolled in two more. Before I enrolled, I did a lot of Googling. I was looking for a lot of information about Portage. I did see, I think on Facebook, some complaints on maybe Portage's Facebook page. And someone else uh, left a comment about they'll accuse you of cheating and they'll keep your money and you won't get to take the class. So that was something I was a little bit nervous about and I was looking at what people had to say about Portage on Reddit and there clearly was a lot of cheating going on with Portage maybe like a year or two ago because the test didn't require a webcam to be recording you while you took it and so even though it said you weren't supposed to use open notes people were i think at one point they had a lockdown browser so you couldn't click other links on your computer while you were taking the test but if there's no webcam you could just use your phone to look stuff up so people were cheating they were talking about it on reddit oh yeah it was an easy a i mean i just used my phone to google the answers if i didn't know them during the test. So people used to cheat a lot on Portage. And I think that's probably why a lot of nursing schools won't accept Portage because they know just because someone got credited Portage doesn't mean they learned the material at all. Because of that, I mean, obviously it's to Portage's advantage for more schools to accept their credit because they're going to make a lot more money the more nursing schools will accept their classes. So Portage has installed this lockdown browser you have to use. And basically what that is, it's a program you put on your computer. And every time you take a test, you have to open up the lockdown browser. Like instead of clicking on Firefox or Chrome, um, you click on the lockdown browser, you log into Portage, and you can't do anything else while that browser is open. So you couldn't go check your email or you can't take a screenshot. You can't use function keys, stuff like that. And there's a webcam recording you. So yeah, those are that's the safeguard they've done to try to, I think, tell the, uh, tell the nursing schools, look, you can trust the grades these kids got from here or the students got. You should accept Portage credit. We make sure they're not cheating. Now, I think any class you take, probably this is the way it works. You have to have a webcam and you have to have a quiet environment that is fairly uncluttered and you have to use your webcam to show them all around the environment and like even under your keyboard, under your mouse pad. And one of my teachers about a third of the way through the course is like, hey, you're not showing me under your chair and under your desk. So then I added that into it. If you have a calculator, it can't, it has to be, I don't know what kind. Like I just have a simple basic calculator I was using for chemistry. But you have to like hold it up to the webcam and show the back of it, you know, show that you're not hiding notes on it and that it's not like a smartphone that looks like a calculator. I don't know. Those are the things they do to help make sure you're not cheating. And I will, I will show you, I'll do a webcam check. I'll show you what it looks like when I do one. You also have to take ID of yourself and show them to prove that it's you taking the test and you didn't hire a smart friend to come take the test for you. They're doing all of this, I believe, so that more schools will accept their classes. So you want them to do this because you want the nursing school you go to to accept this super convenient online class. That said, does it prevent cheating? There's still ways to cheat. Someone left a comment on one of my Portage videos about use us to cheat. I don't even remember what it was. I, it was a link to their video about how to cheat on Portage. I don't remember what they were saying to do. I don't remember. I, I think I just told them you're the reason why we have to do all this <laughs> silly stuff um, to prove we're not cheating. But there's still, there's always ways to cheat. I mean, cheaters are going to cheat. Well, I'll, I mean, I'll just tell you something. I didn't cheat, but so you, you can't have your phone with you. I wear like, you guys see me in the big hoodies all the time when I take tests around the house. I accidentally had my phone in my hoodie pocket one time, the whole time I was taking the test. Well, you do the webcam check and, you know, show all around you. 
They couldn't see I was hiding a phone in my hoodie. I mean, I couldn't either. I forgot it was there. I finished the test and I was like, oh, I had my phone. I hope they didn't like see an outline of it and think I was cheating because during the test, the webcam is just on your face. So you could be sneaky and like pull the phone out of your hoodie and you know, like feel like you could try to be sneaky and cheat if you wanted to that way. They do monitor like where your eyes are. Sometimes the screen will flash up and it'll be like your face is not fully in view of the camera or something. Labs are open notes. So when I'm taking a lab, I might be looking down at my notes. And that's when it flashes up or chemistry. If I'm doing a math problem on paper, that's when it flashes up. Just because it flashes up doesn't mean they're going to accuse you of cheating. It just, it's like the software. So are they going to accuse you of cheating if you accidentally don't show something right in your environment? So I was told for several tests and labs I took after I'd already taken several, they're like, hey, you can't take a test in that room. There's other computers in that room. Well, the monitors weren't facing me. I didn't think it would matter. I kind of freaked out. I was like, uh, cause they say three strikes you're out. And I was like, um, I've already taken tests in this environment more than three times. I'm sorry. I didn't think it mattered because I, those screens weren't within eye view. So, I mean, I broke the rules three times. They were like, we don't think you're trying to cheat. We can tell you're, you know, studying the material and and all because i had asked her questions on she explained stuff anyway she's like but we have to be really strict on this so you need to find a different place to take your test so that's when i moved a table into the dining room so there wasn't other computers in the same room with me and i started taking tests here and then that same teacher emailed me a few tests later and said hey you're not showing under your desk and under your chair so then i added that in the other class they never said anything and i don't know they might have been fine with me taking tests in the first location so every professor might be different in how much they stick to those rules but they're doing that so that nursing schools will accept portage credit so that you can keep taking classes at portage you know, I was accused of cheating or whatever. So um, links in the description about my experience with that. That said, they want your money too. They want the nursing schools like you. They also want your money. I'm taking four classes with them. It was the very first class I signed up for that that's the teacher that was telling me I had to switch rooms. That's the teacher that was telling me I had to show under my desk and under the chair. You know, they didn't think I was cheating. They just thought... I was not following the rules to a T and needed to fix them. They thought it was accidental mistakes, which it was. They just, they didn't even give me like a first official warning because I think that's 10 points off or something. They didn't do anything except for just tell me what to do. They want you as the person buying the class to be a happy customer. So if they don't think you're cheating, they may tell you to, you know, you need to do this when you're doing your environmental check but they're not gonna try to accuse you of cheating if they don't think you're cheating. If they had done that, there's no way I would have bought three more classes with them. You know, it's to their advantage to not accuse people of cheating if it looks like just maybe they were, but probably they just forgot to show under their desk or something. So don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid that Portage is gonna accuse you of cheating if you're not. You might have to set up your computer in a different spot, um, to make them happy, you might have to get a more external webcam so you can move it around the room easier to make your professor happy. If you're unsure, you can email your professor before you take the first test. Like, for instance, I've wondered what people do with a laptop because you have to show under your keyboard. Well, how would you show under your keyboard with a laptop unless you had an external camera? I think if you told a professor that, I, I think a lot of them would say like, just lift your laptop up and show under the table or something. I don't know, but if you're worried, they're gonna accuse you of cheating. If you're worried your setup won't make them happy, ask the professor to check. Say, I wanna make sure that this environment is considered a good testing environment. I wanna make sure that all the camera angles I'm showing you are all the ones you need to see. They're really quick at responding. The professors are really nice. Every email interaction I've had with the two professors I've had have been great. So just, just email them and ask them before you take a test. They want your money, they want you to take classes with them, and they want the nursing schools to think you're not cheating. I think I've just said that over and over, but 
Don't be scared of that. So now I'm gonna show you what I do when I take a test and how it's, it's supposed to prevent me from cheating. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. You can check with your teacher once you sign up for class, but this is my environment, so. It doesn't have other computers in it. It's okay that I have papers on the fridge over there. They said that's far enough away. They're not worried about that. When I take a test, I make sure there's no papers on my desk. I have my uh, driver's license. This is actually an expired driver's license, so I just keep it here all the time since I'm always testing here. I usually have like two or three pins. This is my schedule. I don't have this. If you need scrap paper, you have to get like completely blank printer paper and you show it to them um, both sides of the paper that it's blank. I've installed this browser on my screen. You can't see it, but it's just like a little lock and key with a shield on it. It's a lockdown browser. I have to open that up. It says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, you do, because otherwise you can't take classes on Portage. Then it opens up, that's what it looks like. It asked me to close Skype. I don't even know I have Skype open on here, but it always tells me I need to close Skype. Do you want to respond to a selectone browser to close it? I always just tell it yes. I don't know why I think I have Skype. You use the same login you use for Portage. It will not remember your password on this. So you have to remember your password. If you have like password savers and stuff, they don't work on the lockdown browser, but it's the same thing that you would use to log into your Portage website. Same email, same password. Okay, and then here's your classes you're signed up for. What happens is you say, take quiz or take test. And it says, count to 10 or say your ABCs to make sure the webcam's working. And you push start and like for five seconds it records you, then it plays back. They wanna know that you can hear yourself. They wanna know the microphone's working and that's so they can know that someone's not telling you answers, you know, off screen or that you're not like playing lectures in the background while you take the test, I don't know. So they wanna make sure your microphone works. So then you say, yes, I can hear myself. Then they want you to center your face in the screen and take a picture. And then they want you to hold up your ID, any kind of photo ID with your name on it, where they can see it and take a picture. Mine's always a little blurry. That's okay. They're just trying to make sure I didn't pay someone to take the test for me. Let's see. And then is the environmental check. And you have one minute and 17 seconds to move your webcam around to show them your environment. And I know this because if you go too slow, you run out of time. So I take this webcam off and I show them, first I show them my keyboard. I show them under the keyboard, like that I don't have notes hiding under here. I show them under the mouse pad that I don't have notes hiding here. I show them this chair since it's right next to me that I don't have notes hiding here. Then, I come over here, I show them the wall that's in front of me. I kind of go up and down, that there's a kitchen over there, and then the, the table behind me, the wall on this side of me. And then I go under the table, and I show them under the table, and I show them under my chair, that there's nothing under the chair. And then I put it back up here, and I, I forget what button you push, like OK or continue. It gives you the opportunity to rewatch what you recorded to make sure you feel like you showed them everything. And then once you push OK, a little red thing pops up here that says webcam recording. And then the rest of the time is just recording you until you finish your test. I'm sure it discourages cheating. I'm sure it makes cheating harder. Like I said, if someone really wants to cheat, I mean, they let me take tests in a big sweatshirt. You could hide notes up your sweatshirt and then sneak them out because during the test, they're only looking at your face. But I hope you would have conscience and, and feel like guilty doing that. And I don't know, people who are going to cheat are going to find a way to cheat no matter where. But I think it probably reduces cheating. And probably that's why you also have the microphones so that if they hear, you know, papers rustling around, they're going to be looking and say, oh, why do we hear papers rustling around while this person's taking the test? If it seems like you're constantly, you know, they can't see your hands maybe, but they can see your eyes. And if you're looking in one spot down below, probably that sets off the 
the thing because it looks at where your eyes are looking like the AI stuff. So that's their methods to see if you're cheating or not. Um, if you're worried, sign up for a class. Just check with the professor. They want you to not be scared to do it. They want you to take the class. They want you to be a happy customer. So, I mean, I would recommend it. I I this for taking classes. It's so flexible. You can go whatever speed you need to. I got two classes done in like five weeks. You can't do that at a community college. You can't work that fast. I can work at 2 a.m. I can work at 4 a.m. I can work at 3 p.m. I mean, I can work on school any time of day. I can watch the lectures, take the test, review my notes. It's great. So don't be afraid of getting accused of cheating. Understand they're doing all these things to try to make themselves appeal to the nursing schools and uh, try it. If you have taken a class with Portage, leave a note below if you had a good experience or a bad experience so people can know what to expect and not just go with what I'm saying, but get a variety of opinions. Thanks.